Hi everyone, this is Miss Chelsea from the Mount Holly Branch Library and today we are going to be talking about zines. So I'm going to go over a little PowerPoint with you that's going to explain what a zine is, how to make one, why to make one, and then when we're done with the PowerPoint I'm going to show you a very short video on how to fold the paper, different styles that you can do, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the zine project. And then in this little tiny corner right here. This is actually one that I created. It's the first one I've ever made. So what is a zine? A zine is, um, it's short for magazine or fanzine. It is a form of self-expression. It is portable. It can be DIY, so it can be like a little instruction booklet. It's something that you make yourself, and it's something that you can share if you choose to. So a little bit of history about zines. Um, in 1930, the first one that was ever created was called The Comet, and it was a science fiction fanzine. And I guess, sorry, not the one, first one created, but it was the first one published. In 1944, the Xerox, Xerography, excuse me, <clears throat> Xerography was invented. So that's pretty much like the copying process of like kind of like a copy machine, which later on does get very big for. Um, the creation of zines. So in the 60s and 70s, zines um, started becoming more themed. They took on a lot of different themes like um, political themes, literary themes, revolution, music, art, all kind of different things. And in the 70s, when punk rock was starting to get really popular, a lot of punk rock zines began to emerge. And then in the late 70s, when the DIY movement, the do-it-yourself movement came out, um, a lot of zines were created on DIY projects and the indie music scene. So in the 1980s, copy machines, like I said earlier, did become a very popular way to publish zines because this way you can make multiple copies of one without having to hand draw or color each one of them and then you can just pass them out. And in the 90s, the um, zine network expands into the realm of e-zines. So that's pretty cool too. So why do you make one and what do you do with it? So why make one? Well, first of all, it's very easy to make one. Second is there's no limits. Um, so you're in control of how it's written, the illustrating, the cutting, the pasting, the copying, how it's folded, if you want to staple it or tape it, passing it out, like that's all within your control and it can be about anything so again no limits on that so your stories are important so again zines can be about anything but if this is a way for you to express yourself this is a, um, a great outlet to be able to do that so let's say you make one what are you going to do with it well you can give them to a library that collects them you can share them with your friends and family you can also send them to a publisher um, i know a lot of teen magazines every once in a while will feature different zines or they'll even send some out that they make copies of so you can definitely try that you can share them at a concert or event you can trade them among people that also make them and then of course you can always just keep them yourself so let's talk about the different types of zines so there's art zines which are you know normally filled with art photos drawings things like that there's compilation zines um, which normally is when a topic is chosen and um, it calls for like um, submissions to be released and it's normally with a deadline and then once those are all turned in they sort of just make like a, a big compilation of all of them. So DIY of course is just to teach or inspire someone how to do something. A fanzine is normally written for people who are fans of something like a band, a TV show, things like that. A literary zine are going to be zines that are about collections of fan fiction, regular fiction, essays, poetry, um, works collected by the author, things like that. Mini comics, of course, are just like very small comics. Uh, split zines, now this is when you and a friend or someone will work on a zine together and you sort of either split it down the middle or you collaborate and come up with a, a very good idea, things like that. Personal zines, or per zines. Um, these are going to be focused on your life, your opinions, your thoughts, and things like that. And of course, the political zines are going to deal with politics and social justice and all that good stuff. So if you need some ideas and what to make your zine about, here's some very good ideas. And I think these are really great just to get started. 
So bad poetry, you can make a zine full of just really awful poetry either that you can find or you can make up on your own. An ode to love is a zine about everything that you love. Pet peeves is just a zine about things that annoy you or that you think are just annoy people in general that's pretty popular. Favorites, of course, this could be anything that's your favorite, your favorite band, your favorite food, your favorite animal, things like that. Confessions would be like a zine about your most embarrassing moments or your secrets. A Q&A, which is question and answer, would be like a zine where you would interview someone or you would answer questions that you think that a lot of people ask yourself. So instruction manual, again, this is very DIY. Um, it's, it's very similar to one of those. So it's just like a, a little instruction booklet on how to do something. Fans is when you're going to write about people that you are a fan of. Friends, of course, you can make a zine about all your, the friends in your life, your best friends, stuff like that. A vacation diary, it is summertime. So if you are going on vacation or on currently on vacation, then you can make a zine about what you did, where you went, things like that. And last but not least is a photo shoot. So print off some pictures of either your favorite things or of you and your family and your friends and just make a zine about your life or just anything that you want to take a photo of. And last but not least is these are some of the resources that I use to sort of delve into um, the zine world and things like that. So these are all resources that are listed. You can check those out at any time. Um, just to sort of get some more information or some more ideas on everything. All right, so to make a zine, you do need a few materials. Of course, one, you are going to need the material you're going to make your zine out of, which is going to be paper. So it can be regular eight and a half by 11 paper. Um, I've actually attempted, or I did make one out of paper that was 11 by 17. So you can make it out of bigger paper, you can make it out of smaller paper. It's really going to decide on what type of style that you want to make yours out of. So first I'm going to show you the zine that I made. And the zine that I made looks like this. Try to get that glare off. There we go. So it was just out of um, 8.5 by 11. And this is just reasons why I think the library is awesome. And then as you can see, it's just like a little booklet. I didn't need any tape. I didn't need any staples. This is just a piece of paper that has been folded and then written on. And then so you can see as I unfold it, everything is written on one side of the paper. So how do we make one like that? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of paper, whatever size you wanna use, and then you're gonna fold it hot dog style. So you're going to fold it long ways and then you're going to open it back up and then you're going to fold it hamburger style short ways and then you're going to fold it hamburger style again. So when you open this up, you're going to have one long line in the center and then you're going to have short lines that go up and down this way. So fold it this way again, you're going to have that long line in the center and then your three lines up and down. So what you're gonna do, and I've already pre-done it, as you can tell, you're gonna make a slit from this first line point where it is in the middle, all the way to the last line. So you can tell there is a, a cut there. And what I did, I just poke a little hole with my scissors, and then I use my scissors to cut the rest of the way. So scissors, you're definitely probably gonna need if you wanna make this style. All right, so once you've done that, you're gonna fold it long ways, hot dog style again. And instead of folding it like you would this and then this, which is only going to give you a limited amount of paper, you're not going to fold it like that. You're going to fold it, and then you're going to open it up in the middle. Let's see if I can get it to do it. So it's going to go like that, kind of make like a little diamond. And then you're going to squeeze that shut. And then you're going to close them like that and then fold that over. So now, instead of only having like three to four pages, you have multiple pages that you can draw on and work with. And this is gonna be a very small sized um, zine for you to draw on and create. Now, again, there are other styles that you can use. So if you want to use 
staples, for example. Again, you're just going to take a piece of paper again. You're going to fold it hamburger style. And then you're going to fold that one over in half like that. So it's kind of like a little mini book. So with this style, you do need a stapler and some staples. If you, if you choose to want to make them stick together, that would be a good um, a way for them to stick. I didn't staple these and I probably won't. I'll just leave them like this because this is nothing that I'm going to be giving out to tear up or anything. So again, you're going to take another piece of paper and you're going to do the exact same thing. So now you have two. They're folded the same way, they're the same length. And I'm just going to open this one up like that and I'm going to stick this one down in there. And then what you could do is open that up in the middle and then staple here and here. But again, I'm not going to do that. So now I just have this one. And that's another style zine. Again, you can use tape. You can use um, just the folding method, staples. Um, there's really no wrong way to do it. You can cut up pieces of paper to make very small pieces. So uh, I showed you earlier that I had that really big piece of paper. With the big piece of paper, again, it's folded like this with the folding method. And then I'm just going to open that up, make the diamond, squeeze these two sides together, and then fold over the top. And then this is the same method that I used earlier, but the paper is bigger. So if I wanted to draw or doodle more on there, I could. Some other materials that you are definitely going to need is you're going to need some markers to draw or color. Um, it could be color pencils, it could be crayons, it could be just regular pencils or pens. Um, it could be pictures that you pulled off the internet or out of a magazine. Another thing if you're gonna do that is to glue stick. So you definitely wanna get a glue stick if you want to glue anything down. And that is pretty much the a couple of basic ways to make a zine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye.